Well, Andrew, how many Zelda games do you reckon you've bought in the past? To be brutally honest, I don't think even 10. I've played yeah. most of them, in a sense. A lot of them I've sort of borrowed or just played very briefly. What about you? Uh, I've probably bought, I reckon, 20 in total, including, like, remakes and stuff, because I'm an absolute sucker and I will buy the remake. I own, like, four copies of Ocarina of Time, basically. Yeah, I think the only remake I've got is Ocarina of Time 3D. One thing that's always interested me, though, is, like, what is the better-selling Zelda game, though? The Zelda series is, like, just always constantly releasing games every year, even if they are remakes and whatnot. There's always a Zelda game to buy every year. Yeah. Yeah, because they sell. So I've always wondered, like, what is the best-selling Zelda game? Or, like, what are the best-selling ones? Yeah. I'm not including remakes, so I'm only including the original releases. Yeah. I would like to include the Virtual Console uh, re-releases as well, but Nintendo never released the figures for them, so I can't add them up or include them. And I'm not including spin-offs, so if it hasn't got Legend of Zelda title in the title, it doesn't count. Yeah. But I guess uh, we'll start off with uh, number 10, which is... Skyward Sword on the Wii and which has sold 3.67 million copies fabulous what are your opinions on Skyward Sword you've had quite a history of your opinions on Skyward Sword on this channel have I? yeah I remember when this channel first started you were like because back in the day when people thought this game was really really good every, no one said a bad word about this game oh of course yeah I am um, you, you were you on the, the, the troll train I was uh, yeah I wasn't very fond of it I do remember now yeah <laughs> I was on that it's funny how the tables turn because now people act like I say the general consensus is that Skyward Sword a bad Zelda game which I don't agree with honestly yeah I don't know what that is all about like, I absolutely love it I think it's a fantastic game it came out in November 2011 yeah I got it as it came out I think I got it at Christmas that year and I sort of played it played it played it and I just got bored of it so quickly I think it was at the time I started college I was busy I was doing other stuff mainly in case I was preoccupied with other stuff maybe I just couldn't get into it as much yeah. maybe I started getting misled thinking it was bad when actually it wasn't but then just under a year later I sort of went back to it and I played it start to finish and I absolutely loved it I thought it was it's again, I think it's my favourite Zelda game, potentially. Visual style is absolutely gorgeous. Like I love the combination of the sort of realistic style of Twilight Princess and the cel shaded style of Wind Waker. Yeah, it's like a melding of the two, really, isn't it? Yeah, it just is really beautiful. Considering the Wii obviously was graphically limited compared to 360 and PS3, I think it was probably an ideal way to go. Yeah, I'd like to see it, what it looks like in HD, like having seen Twilight Princess and Wind Waker really. Yeah. I'd like to see what Skyward Sword looks like. Because I think that that would be more visually striking than Twilight Princess in HD. Yeah, the lighting in particular is really beautiful, especially in um, Skyloft. I just think mm. it would look really nice in HD as well. I guess we move on to number 9, which has sold 3.83 million copies, and that is the original Link's Awakening on Game Boy. Uh, that game, I have to be really honest, I've not played it. Yeah, I've I've not got enough into it to really say one way or the other. Uh, I've played like, the first two dungeons, I think. I know it's got like a cult following amongst Zelda fans. Like, there's, a, there's a small selection of people who like swear by this game as like, one of the best in the series. Yeah. To me, it always felt like a, just a bite-sized Link to the Past, which I guess isn't a bad thing, but just I've always preferred Link to the Past personally. The interesting thing is that it, it got a remake, which was one of the one of the first Zelda games to actually get a remake, which was uh, on the Game Boy Color with Link's Awakening DX, which actually sold 2.2 million. So and then it also got re-released on the Virtual Console. So I reckon this game has probably sold six million plus in total. I've heard just a lot of good things about. It. I mean, when I had a Game Boy, it was mostly just Pokemon. I had very little else for it. Sticking with Game Boy, Oracle of Ages and Seasons has sold 3.98 million copies. This has been bundled together both Oracle. Oracle of Asians and Seasons because for some reason I don't think Nintendo ever released the, the numbers separately at least I couldn't find anywhere that showed the numbers of these games separately so they've been muddled together yeah. even though they're not the same game they're both completely different but. I have played these ones but yeah. I don't know which one I think it was Seasons a lot of people view them as like Pokemon Red and Blue you know what I mean mm. corresponding versions but I've heard like they're actually completely separate they share the same assets but yeah like they are like by like different games yeah exactly I, they've also been re-released on the 3DS Virtual Console which you know. I did want to um, get them at some point just give it a try um, see what yeah. I think of it in like hindsight but at the moment I can't remember much to truly comment on it I've heard again I've only heard good things about it except for it's sound design moving on to number 7 which has sold 4.38 million copies which is Zelda 2 The Adventure of Link that one was an interesting one wasn't it people look at it as the black sheep of the franchise now because of how different it is at the time it was only the second ever Zelda game to be brutally honest I'm not overly fond of it Fine. again this is one I haven't played in so long I had it on the Wii Virtual console, just couldn't get into it. 
much as the first one. I didn't really get into the side scrolling stuff. It's more like an RPG, really. Yeah. You, know, you level up and stuff. You have like a ma- magic meter and yeah. you know, these like battles and stuff over and over. It's it's a very strange game. I yeah. think if I really sat down with a guide of some kind that like taught me exactly what to do, I probably would enjoy it. But every time I play this game, I, I find myself frustrated and just don't want to play it. Moving on from probably my least favorite Zelda game to my favorite ever Zelda game, and that is The Wind Waker, which sold 4.43 million copies on the GameCube. Wind Waker, it's good stuff. Yes. I don't. I mean, I know initially everyone sort of hated the mm. visual style. Everyone just sort of went berserk at the actual look of it. It works in its own way, and it's a really appealing art style. I think it's sort of just basic Zelda. It's really complex. It has good puzzles in each dungeon, etc. The story is really compelling. Mm. Perhaps I can see potentially the sailing. I like the fact that you can explore this expansive world, but sometimes it felt like I was just sort of sitting in a boat for ages, just mindlessly going into an empty horizon. I totally get that, and I've heard loads of people say that they've literally plotted their boat on the course for the island, left their controller, and just walked out of the room and come back like yeah. later. Yeah, exactly. It, it just feels like you're not doing anything except sitting yeah. there. I actually love the sailing of Wind Waker, and I, I kind of want her to do like a do that similar feeling again of just going and finding these little islands to explore and stuff. There's stuff to do along the way of the sailing, but they're just like outposts, and to people that's just like mindless, like there's no point. But I love just, oh, there's an outpost over there. I wonder what they've got that like chest in there. I might have like a... Yeah, that's the thing I do really like, is the fact that you can explore all these different places, and you just never know what you'll come across. Because mm. some of these places aren't even related to the main story, so it's a case of like, choice and consequence. But it's sometimes I think maybe the sea was just a little too big, potentially. I do wish there was more to do on the, the yeah. ocean, to be fair. But other than that, no, I, I love Wind Waker. It's a great game. I haven't played the HD one, but... Yeah, I was going to actually mention that. Aside from the overemphasis on that bloom lighting. They toned it down, didn't they? I don't know if the initial screenshots they released the Yeah, game, it was way too It was like intense. ridiculous bloom lighting that they toned it down the actual game. Uh, at number five is A Link to the Past with 4.61 million copies. Again, I can't include the Virtual Console because I'm sure that sold again a lot more on the Virtual Console. And there's also the Game Boy Advance re-release which sold uh, nearly 3 million uh, copies on the GBA. Yeah, again, I haven't played this in ages. I had it on, I have it on the Wii Virtual Console. Same. But I never played it when I was younger because um, I had a Sega when I was younger. I wasn't actually, I didn't actually ever have a Super Nintendo. Exactly the same here. I was a Sega kid. Yeah, I was all about Sega. Um, it was mainly playing these games just like going around a friend's house and doing it. People consider it like, one of the best of the series. The music's really iconic. I just really can't remember much about it because I haven't played it in so long so there's not a lot I can say. Yeah, fair enough. I guess we move on to number four which has sold 4.67 million copies. I don't know if you noticed a lot of these have, have sold very close to each other. They sell like just around like the four million mark. Yeah, they hover around that usually. Yeah, but th- this uh, game is, uh, is Phantom Hourglass. Phantom Hourglass. Oh dear. Yeah. No, I, I don't like Phantom Hourglass at all. I don't like the control style. I just got bored of it extremely quickly. It's again, it's one that is considered generally quite good, isn't it? Well, I, I don't know. I think like again, it's that sort of uh, retroactively nowadays. I feel like a lot of people rank this as one of the worst Zelda games, mainly because of the Temple of the Ocean King. Like that is probably fundamentally the worst thing about that game is going back to the same temple over and over again. And not only is it the same temple over and over again, you are timed. Which which sucks. I don't know what they were thinking when they put that in. I do like the use of the touch screen and like the, the dual screens and stuff. Like the big highlight of that game is is when you need to close the DS to like put the map on the bottom screen or something. No, that was pretty cool, yeah. But I, I've actually recently repurchased Fat Man Glass on the Wii U's virtual console and I instinctively picked up the gamepad and started trying to move Link around with the analog stick and I was like, oh no, of course you can't, can you? Yeah, I don't understand why they couldn't. I just thought, oh. I imagine that would require work. Yeah. And then when it came out, it was like critically acclaimed but again as you say sort of looking back a lot of people not fond of it and I myself just mm. I couldn't I'm not even going to say that oh I'm not fond of it I absolutely hated it <laughs> fair enough just say it like it is I just absolutely hated it like it's the worst Zelda game for me and because of it well, I've never played Spirit Tracks but after Phantom Hourglass I just wasn't interested I have heard that a lot actually that because of Phantom Hourglass people hated so much they never even touched Spirit Tracks because it's essentially the same game yeah I never I can't comment on it, obviously but I just was <laughs> not interested whatsoever after Phantom Hourglass just hated it uh, for number three has sold 6.51 million copies. It's the original Legend of Zelda. Considering this has sold nearly 7 million copies on the NES, that's quite a big feat, actually. Yeah, that's... 
I mean, it already sort of wins points because it just kick-started the series. I actually really like this game, honestly. The four-directional movement is a bit stiff. Yeah, it's one of those games where it's so old, potentially, and inevitably it hasn't aged too well. Compared to Super Mario Brothers, which I think is always going to be infinitely replayable to anyone of any age because it controls so well, I think that Zelda doesn't have that aspect. Yeah, because of the four-directional movement, it doesn't, I don't feel like, controls that well in today's standards. No, I don't. Whereas Super Mario Brothers will always be a, a perfect game in that sense. Yeah, exactly. The, the controls, yeah, were a bit, it took time to get used to it. It wasn't the first Zelda game I actually played, so perhaps I didn't get the same yeah. effect with people who were introduced to it when they were younger and then went from there with the franchise. But look, it is yeah. it is a nice little nostalgic game, but mm -hmm. there are some parts of it that maybe haven't aged too well. Okay, well, uh, moving on to number two, which has sold 7.6 million copies, is Ocarina of Time, which has been re-released about 50 times since. Yeah, <laughs> you can never say anything bad about this game. People yeah. come down like a ton of bricks, but <laughs> um, I mean, brilliant. I love Ocarina of Time. I'm not obviously yeah. gonna. It's probably the Zelda game I've, I've replayed the most of any Zelda game, actually, personally. Again, this was because I didn't have a Nintendo 64 when I was young either. I was mm. PlayStation at that time. Right, yeah. So, uh, this was something again around a friend's house. I played it fully on the Wii Virtual Console when I was younger. Mm. But now, if I do replay it, I always play it on my 3DS. Like, because yeah. I think the 3DS one is perhaps the definitive version because the upgraded yeah. visuals, the sort of faster sort of frame rate. First of all, the narrative is amazing. The time travel aspect works really well. I mean, I like, in terms of like gameplay, it is the, the dungeons are really creative, the puzzles are really thoughtful, boss battles are great. What is your favourite dungeon of that game? Because I replayed it recently and I always used to love the forest temple. I've all of a sudden got a, a newfound love for the spirit temple. Yeah, I, lo I really love the music in the spirit temple. It's quite eerie mm. and creepy. Mm. I love the um the fire temple. It's probably the most straightforward of the adult dungeons. Of Link, yeah, the, fire the, the water temple. No. Yeah, I hated that, but I've replayed this game enough times that I now know that temple enough. Yeah, exactly. You can just breeze through it. Yeah, it's not challenging in terms of like encounters or anything. Like the forest temple and the fire temple have enemies that can destroy you if you're not careful. The water temple like doesn't have that. It has pretty safe and tame enemies. It's just a really fucking complex puzzle of locked doors. Yeah, when I first played it, I had to have a walkthrough. Bear in mind, I was like 12 years old. I, yeah. I had to have a walkthrough, literally. I just didn't have a clue. It was one of those levels I felt brings a really good game to a sudden stop and it yeah. makes you want to stop playing it and then you sort of miss out on all the great stuff happens after it. So mm. aside from that, it's a fantastic game. For me, it's like one of the best games ever. I know that I know that like people think that it's overrated. I, I still fucking love that game. Yeah, I don't think it's overrated. I think maybe people say that to stand out, but everyone has their opinion. But yeah. you know, I love it. We could ramble on about Ocarina of Time all day, actually. At least I could. <laughs> uh, we'll move on to number one. I don't know if you've guessed what number one will be. By now, I'm starting to think it could be Twilight Princess. You would be correct in saying Twilight Princess, which has sold 8.58 million copies. This is both the Wii and GameCube versions. I believe the Wii has sold just under eight, whereas the GameCube has sold just like under a million. And then there's the Wii U re-release now, which I would imagine would probably sell about a million. So this game's probably sold like close to 10 million. No, it's 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 my favorite. Actually, did I say Sky? It's, it's really tricky. So I can never decide if Skyward Sword or Twilight Princess is my favorite because I love them both like so much. I, I love Twilight Princess in fact. It's, it's probably my top five of all, of all time Zelda games. The one thing I don't like about that game, and it's not really that like big deal, is wolf singing. I just hate that like the howl thing. I like going woo. <laughs> up and down like it was just oh, I don't know just really it wasn't that great I suppose yeah I mean Wolf Link in general I, I wasn't I didn't hate it as much as some people did yeah but there were some bits where I just couldn't yeah I like, I like Wolf Link like the combat's a lot more limited than Link obviously because he only has like two attacks whereas Link has like 50 yeah I didn't hate it as much as some people there were bits where maybe it just got a bit dull and yeah. repetitive so I'm, I'm replaying it right now through the, the Wii U version and that version if you're not playing on hero mode is the GameCube version which is the original map layer that's just something I don't know if I'll be able to do because not exactly. only am I so used to the flip perspective. I've replayed the original Wii version so many times. My memory of like the layout of every town of every map is the Wii version. So when exactly. I'm going anywhere in the game in the Wii U version, I'm I'm lost as fuck. Yeah, I just walk into walls and think, oh, I'll go the other way. I think the mm -hmm. sword controls, obviously, while they're not as perfect as like obviously Skyward Sword built upon it with Motion Plus yeah. and more yeah. accuracy. I think Twilight Princess worked well. I mean, it might have just simple waggling, but it, it had its own appeal in a sense. Mm. I remember fucking loving it back in 2006 and that's probably because it was so fresh and so new that like oh my god I'm, I'm swinging this remote like a sword yeah exactly I mean it is it is dated in a sense naturally it has to be because I mean it's obviously 10 years old now visually as well I love the realistic style it's something I do miss genuinely as much as I will always always love and prefer Wind Waker I totally get that drive from Nintendo to think yeah the two best selling Zelda games are like the realistic look of Link yeah Zelda's been through so many different art styles that I 
think remains one of its main appeals that mm. there's just in each Zelda game it's distinctive exactly I can never decide if it's Skyward Sword or Twilight Princess but it's definitely one of those two right okay well I guess we might as well leave it there thanks for joining me Andrew that's right thank you for well letting me join you in a sense yeah and just talking about the Zelda stuff it's, I, the reason why I like talking about these sort of selling ones is because it's just a good excuse to just talk about Zelda games no I mean if you go to like sort of top 10 perhaps you can't talk about the ones that maybe you don't like so much I mean, as in like top 10 favourites but yeah yeah it's interesting to look back and just sort of see a difference between them because some of them on this list I either don't like haven't played in a while yeah yeah in general mm-hmm. Zelda's obviously amazing I can't wait to see what will happen with the Wii U one yeah do you reckon you'll be buying that because I know you own a Wii U oh yeah definitely like yeah, I really want enough. it 